In this video, I'm going to explain how to test for sodium hypophosphite in an electroless nickel plating bath. The first thing I do is I start out with a cooled 5 ml sample of electroless nickel plating solution in a 250 Erlenmeyer flask. The next thing I'm going to do is I want to pipe at 50 ml of 01N iodine. And I started it. I'm just going to finish off here. And we add the 50 ml to the nickel solution, and the iodine will oxidize with the sodium hypophosphite. And 50 mils is actually over what we need. And what we'll do later on in the next step is we will titrate with sodium thiosulfate for the remainder of the iodine. So we have in our iodine. Next we want 6N hydrochloric acid, which I've already pre-measured into this graduated cylinder. And then we want to stopper this. I've got tape, it's not a stopper. And we're gonna put it in the dark for 45 minutes and then to our next step. As you see, we have our timer here. 45 minutes, this is crucial. So it's been 45 minutes, and now we're going to take our sample from the dark, and we're going to bring it over to the burette. And again, we added 50 mils of 01N iodine, which oxidized with the sodium hypophosphite. And now I've already zeroed this off, and we're going to start slowly adding our 01N sodium thiosulfate. And we want to go from this amber dark color to a clear endpoint. You can add fairly quick until it starts to change color and then you want to slow it down. You want to know exactly how many drops it takes to turn it to a clear. And we're clear. Now you can take the amount of mils that it took, which is 20 mils, 20.2 mils. You're going to take that away from the 50 mils of iodine that you added add it into a calculation, and that's going to give you the grams per liter of sodium hypophosphite, or the percentage in the bath of sodium hypophosphite. 